Hello friends. So once again welcome to the concept of differentiation under integral sign. So as we have seen the concept of differentiation under integral sign and we have solved the couple of examples on the single parameter. Now it's time to see the example based on multiple parameters. So for that here we have a question where we have to prove that the value of this integral is 1 by 2 log of b square plus lambda square whole upon a square plus lambda square. Now guys here in this integral we have two parameters a and b and we have to prove this result. So whenever we have multiple parameters then how should we apply the rule of dy's to get the value. So the trick is simple whatever things that we have done to get the uh, answer by using dy's in a single parameter will follow the similar steps. So I'll show you the steps which we had followed in single parameter. So here, see here, you can see that we had followed five steps to solve the sums or the numericals based on single parameter. So the first step was consider the given integral as i of alpha where alpha is a parameter and make it as equation number one. Now in our case we have parameters as a and b you all can see here. So instead of taking that alpha as a parameter we may take a as a parameter or b as a parameter. So here you can see that I have considered a as a parameter and here I have written that let i of a is equal to integral 0 to infinity cos lambda x upon x into e raised to minus ax minus e raised to minus bx dx. And I'll say this as equation number one. Now let's come to the point number two or the step number two. So now we will apply the rule of DUIS on equation number one and we'll find out the value of di upon da. Here it is alpha but in our case it will be di by da. So let's apply it. So here I'll say applying DUIS on equation number one with respect to a and now I'll solve this equation number one by duis so here I'll get di by da equals to integration from zero to infinity now in the rule of duis we find out the partial differentiation under the integral sign. So here I'll say it is dou by dou a of the function which is given there that is cos of lambda x whole upon x into e raised to minus ax minus e raised to minus bx dx. Now by differentiating this function partially with respect to a we will get cos of lambda x upon x as constant for this e raised to minus ax the differentiation would be e raised to minus ax into the derivative of this part which is minus x into dx and integral is from 0 to infinity. Now here we can cancel this x and x and we can take this negative sign outside and in the integration we will get e raised to minus ax cos lambda x. So it is equal to or di upon da is equal to integration 0 to infinity minus sign outside e raised to minus ax into cos of lambda x dx and now we'll solve this integration so if you see the function carefully guys then it is a standard property of integration so here i'll use it so minus sign as it is and by that property here we will get e raised to minus ax upon a square plus b square but here in our case the the second variable or second constant i would say here is lambda so instead of b square I'll say it is lambda square so it is just a simple property which you all have studied in 12th standard or I might be in the 11th standard so it is a square plus lambda square 
इन ब्रैकेट माइनस ए कॉस ऑफ लैमडा एक्स प्लस लैमडा इंटू साइन ऑफ लैमडा एक्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी नाउ लेट्स अप्लाई अपर एंड लोअर लिमिट सो नेगेटिव साइन एज इट इज वेन विल पुट द अपर लिमिट एज इन्फिनिटी इन दी वैल्यू देन ई रेस टू माइनस इन्फिनिटी विल बिकम जीरो मिडल साइन नेगेटिव देन विल पुट द लोअर लिमिट एज जीरो सो यर ई रेस टू जीरो विल बी वन अपॉन ए स्क्वेर प्लस लैमडा स्क्वेर and here if we we'll put zero, then cos zero is one. here we will get minus a sin zero is zero so the second term is zero now let's solve this so here this minus and minus will become plus and again we have a negative sign so that will become negative a by a square plus lambda square and this is di by da so here we got the value of di by da now let's come to the step number 3 so as per the step number 3 now we'll integrate the both sides to get the value of i of alpha that is i of a again and we'll make it as equation number 2 so here i'll say integrating both sides we will get i of a equals to now here negative sign outside a upon a square plus lambda square into da now the question is what is the integration of this term so to get the integration here we'll apply the property of integration so you all must be knowing the property that is integration of f dash of x by f of x is nothing but log mod f of x plus c so if you observe here then this denominator i'll consider it as f of x and its derivative must be present in the numerator so derivative of this term is 2a and the derivative of lambda is 0 lambda square is 0 so here i must have 2a to apply the property and to get 2a over here i'll multiply the numerator and denominator with 2 so i'll rewrite this term as minus 1 by 2 So see here I am multiplying the denominator with two, and when we we'll multiply numerator with two, here we will get two a, and then property can be applied. So we will get answer as log mod a square plus lambda square plus c. So here we got the value of i of a, and we'll call it as equation number two. Now after this. let's follow the next step so then we have to substitute some value of alpha in our case it is a in equation 1 and 2 and we have to find out the constant of integration c and then again we'll substitute that value of c in equation 2 to get the final value of integral so let's start with the step number 4 so if you'll see the equation number 2 and this equation number 1 then we have to decide some value of a such that this integral will be a finite integral so guys here we will put a as b so by substituting a as b here we will get e raised to minus bx and e raised to minus bx will be cancelled here we will get 0 and i of a will become 0 and similarly we can put here a as b so here also we'll get the finite value so let's start so here i'll say put a equals to b in equation number 1 and 2 so from 1 we will get i of b equals to 0 and from 2 we will get i of b equals to minus half log of b square plus lambda square plus c now guys from 1 we got i of b as 0 so we'll put this value 0 over here so we'll get 0 equals to minus half log of b square plus lambda square we'll send it on the left hand side so we will get value of c as positive half log of b square plus lambda square 
सो नाउ वी विल पुट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ सी इन इक्वेशन टू अगेन टू गेट दी फाइनल वैल्यू ऑफ इंटीग्रल सो दिस इज दी इक्वेशन नंबर टू सो य at c i'll put this value of c so we will get from equation number 2 i of a is equal to negative half log of a square plus lambda square plus c so value of c is this so 1 by 2 log of b square plus lambda square so guys now from these two terms i can take 1 by 2 outside and we'll get log of b square plus lambda square and negative log of a square plus lambda square and that together can become a formula of log of b square plus lambda square upon a square plus lambda square so here i have applied the formula of log a minus log b equal to log a upon b so here we got the value of i of a now guys if you see the question then we have to prove this as half log b square plus lambda square upon a square plus lambda square and we got that result over here so here we have seen that how to apply the duis on multiple parameters to get the value of integral so if you like this video and you want to learn more concepts and numericals based on engineering mathematics and if you want the updates about the engineering mathematics then do not forget to log in to ekeda.com and learn the magic of mathematics thank you